Okay. This is uh, a Rebel T4i. This is my second version. Um, the first version, uh, Canon asked me to send it back because it an issue with the focusing, or they couldn't figure it out. I think that's the real deal. And their default was to send it back. Warranty cards, software, same software that comes with all the uh, Canon products. Um, instruction manual, book, instruction book. Um, this is a three page uh, or three, three book. Um, nice little uh, guide, if you will. Only saw this in the T4i. I have not seen this instruction book. I'll show it to you. And any other purchase of Canon's cameras that I've purchased. And it's a. Uh, well, maybe they put it in this Rebel series. I don't know. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. They don't give it to you with the uh, with the uh, 5D Mark III. That's for sure. And, uh, all right. This is the 40 millimeter pancake lens STM. I'll put it on this Rebel. Um, I just tried the uh, 1580 millimeter lens. That one I've not tried before. This one I have. Um, Canon couldn't figure out whether it was the lens or the camera, so they said send it back. So this is the second version of the uh, same, same camera purchase. Um, okay, so we'll just pop that lens off. Pop that lens off, pop this one on. That's the uh, 40 millimeter right there. Line up your red dots, spin it, and you're done. You are done. Okay, so that's the 40 millimeter pancake. Here's your autofocus, your manual focus. This can be tweaked in, even in auto, but if you should press the shutter bound, you're going to lose the focus. Even in auto, but if you should press the shutter bound, you're going to lose the focus. Um, it's going to refocus again. All right, here's the pancake lens. Auto, movie mode, tapping screen. It is quiet. This lens is nice that way. Now, you see it's got this auto tracking. All right, it's taking a second to catch on. Right, it works really well if you, so I just lost it. Keep it in this white squares. I wanted to bring it up. See these little white squares that show up, these white corners? All right, so let's get it to auto track again. It's on the E. As long as I stay within the E, within those squares, so I went out again. Um, it's fast, it'll stay within there. But you have to keep your, remember to keep your, t your uh, subject in there. Um, or you'll lose your subject. Let me see if that was in, inside there. Let me lift this up. Yeah, okay. All right, so here's a new focus. Let's put these lettering up. Run over to the lettering, tap on it, and waiting, waiting, tapping again. There we go, that's about the, there we go again, tapping. All right, I gave it some, it's, it's got contrast in there, it's black, it's white, it's got lines. This has got the, uh... okay, recording, Let's see if I can get this. I cannot see anything in that viewfinder. Pressing the shutter button. As I open the door, there's the viewfinder. I close it. Listen. Oh, and there we go. You can see it's moving. I took a photograph even. But nothing in the viewfinder. Um, and I'll power it off. I'll power it back on. Now the viewfinder works. Back to this mode. And the viewfinder works. Um, weird. As luck would have it, this is the same thing that I'm having problems with the Canon. I've got a decent bit of distance there. Well over the, uh, within the range of the pancake lens's ability. 
um, I'm pressing the shutter button and getting nothing. Tapping the screen. I am in movie mode. Um, see the red pop up? Um, movie mode. It's, it's doing nothing. Um, it's just dead, if you will. Um, it's frozen up on me. The other camera did too, so it appears it's just something this camera is capable of doing. Um, let me dial down the shutter speed since I am in movie mode just for the principle of it. Movie mode. M. Button's fully over. All the keys are responding. There's my ISO and auto. Um, All right, let's try to go at it quick. Um, again, movie mode, auto servo. I don't know, I was really in love with this camera, but I cannot afford to be stuck troubleshooting a camera in the middle of somewhere where I've got to turn it off all the way, turn it back on to see if it resets. That's the Canon 5D Mark III. You can't even read it. Oh, I'm sorry, let's make clear. You see, I am in autofocus. Manual, auto. Tapping the screen. Manually focusing it now. That's right, this, this uh, 40 millimeter has a huge um, focal point on it if you're trying to manually focus. Okay. So, manual. Great. My lens is mounted, as you can see. It just shut off when I did that. Um, Alright, so the lens is mounted. So I'll focus again. Um, press the uh, shutter button, <laughs> to the record button to activate. Let's see. Let's try it now. I think it's working now. So now it's working. Alright, I had to share that. That's uh. Okay, so this is the 5D Mark III. It's filming in the background here. Um, moment, I did a video on Amazon that shows this freezing up. This uh, T4i. This is uh, it's pretty much unacceptable. Here's the live view photographic mode. Once I'm filming, I can just do that. Just press the shutter button. Um, now, quickly, put it in a photographic mode. You have to tap the button again to get your live screen and you can roll right through it. It's pretty sweet. Now here's your shutter speed. So you can scroll right to your shutter speed you like. Um, to, you have to, you just can't tap there. You gotta jump out through the queue to get um, different settings. But this is what I like about it. You get a pre depth of preview um, so easily. I mean, it's really li li real time. It's no pressing a button. It's no figuring out in your mind that I, what you like as per shots. You get to see it right then. You get to see it's T totally dark on the outside. Now it gets blown out here. Um, and then there's the shadows back in the box um, that the camera's created. Alright, so you see you can't just tap 250 now. Um, you've got to go to 250 of a second if you want to change it and go that way and then back out again. Um, touch the screen to focus and fire away. Um, it's a raw file. It's taking a second to load this image. All right, so tap here. Now this becomes touch screen enabled. So wherever I touch the screen, it's going to focus and take the shot. Um, you can see this is pretty blown out. That box is gray. So um, let's go here. Let's dial her up a little bit. Give it a little more depth. Try to get the... Uh, let's see, come out of here. Go to our shutter speed for a second. I want to get my ambient down a little bit. Back out. Okay, it's refocusing. Now, um, I'm already, here we go. Touch. Okay, that looks more like the Canon box. All right, so that is how that works. I'm done.